what was going on here? Uh, it was a drug house. Game plan is uh, have the law enforcement go in first and to uh, knock on the door and ask them to leave and escort them out. Trina and Alfred would come and get the boys and ask them to come and stand with them to try to get them out of there and they wouldn't do it. And that one right there, she was crying hysterically. She was probably scared of, she's Juanita and she's probably never seen nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Alfred had to get everything in order mm -hmm. and they finally did. Why are we doing this? The nation is making a stand today. Over a year ago, we declared the public health crisis with our opioid epidemic here in Lummi. And the Lummi Nation is taking a stand with the people. Enough is enough. The drug dealers, they're murderers. And they don't even care. Ideally, we'd have the fire marshal here. As soon as they're out, I'll cordon it off. Fire it up. Mm -hmm. Burn it down. Saying that we're finally, we're finally getting serious, and we're gonna um, take care of the drug business because it's taking too many of our young people. I'm so happy that we're finally getting everything in order and, mm -hmm. and doing it correctly to get them out. This is not who we are. This public health crisis, we're uh, warriors. Uh, we need family. We need love. Uh, that's who we are. It's time to move on. The Lummi's not going to look the other way at the drug problem, the epidemic that we have, and the people that we're losing. We just got to change the whole form of behavior of the whole community. They, that drug, it, it kills your spirit. It kills your relation with your family, with your kids. It takes everything from you. I mean, you, you'd still, you'd still from your own kid, your own family. This home has been allowed to be abused for far too long. Um, and the message that we're, we're sending is that our tribe, our people, our community and the council are tired of it. We're tired of burying mm -hmm. our loved ones. We're mm -hmm. tired of seeing our people struggle and be sick with a foreign substance and enough is enough. All our people are dying because of this stuff. And so I went in there and I told them, knocked on that, that door, that bedroom door right there. And I said, you guys gotta go. This family, they're tired of you guys. You guys gotta go. And I had, I had my pain on, my partner, and my, and my drum. You know, just standing there, just, just standing there. I wasn't rattling, or I wasn't, I wasn't, um, I was just stern with my words. I wasn't, I wasn't angry, fighting, yelling at him. I was just trying to reassure the community that we hear, we hear the cries, we hear the pain, and it doesn't fall on deaf ears in this council. And our people are committed to getting our people well. And you know, to our future generations, letting them know that we care and love for them and mm -hmm. that we're going to do everything possible to do what's right mm -hmm. uh, as our ancestors did for us.